Hello, my name is Anderson, and I'm a math teacher at Bill Holgash Secondary School. With me today on my left is Melissa Pact, and on my right is Dream Guthrie Stewart. We're going to take you on a virtual tour of our grade 10 academic math class. Each lesson is on a Google slide with a Google version of a PowerPoint. We give an agenda so that students have an overview of the day's lesson. Then we review the students' feedback that we got from a previous survey. We highlight interesting insights or summarize student thoughts. Next, we do a warm-up by activating prior math knowledge, which will increase their confidence prior to the video lesson, which Dream will be going over next. Our lessons are recorded and shared in the Google Classroom with students. Students can stop, rewind, and rewatch the video as many times as they wish. Recorded lessons create the opportunity for us to maintain our presence and to engage students as we would in a physical classroom. At the end of each lesson, we do consolidation. New material is reviewed and key information is emphasized. Students complete an exit card, which requires them to respond to questions or prompts. The information that we receive can be used to assess their understanding of the lesson and gather feedback on our teaching. I will now hand you over to Melissa, who will tell you what a typical online learning week looks like. Thank you, Jareen. Since beginning our course, we have shared an online course calendar with students. Having this in place from the start of the semester helped ease the transition to online learning. If we zoom into one week at a glance, we can see that students have the ability to revisit previous lessons and homework, keep on track with current daily tasks, and look ahead to future topics. To begin each week, inclusion activities allow us to connect with our students and for them to connect with each other about things that are not directly related to the classroom. Some examples include asking students to tell us something good happening right now, to post a recipe they plan on making, and to share what they've been doing to stay active during these times. Similarly, we end each week with a reflection activity that prompts students to reflect on their week. Some examples include asking them to share a song that describes their mood, or to reflect on how they are continuously demonstrating the six C's that we value here at BHSS. On behalf of the Grade 10 Academic Course Team, we hope that you've been able to get a glimpse of our online learning classroom through this virtual tour. Thank you for being a guest in our classroom and for supporting your children and us as we continue to embark on this distance learning journey together.